Yo, Eldra 2, what's crack a lacking? This is Air Terran, aka Terran It Up, aka Mr. Terran. And today we're going to be looking at arithmetic series. I know big stuff, right? But before we start that, let's go ahead and start with our warm up. In this warm up, we want to write an explicit formula for the following sequence. Um, so the first thing you want to do here is you want to check, you know, is this geometric or is it arithmetic? Remember, if it's arithmetic, we're adding by the same time or, or we're adding or subtracting by the same amount every time. If it's geometric, we're multiplying by the same time or by the same amount every time. Looks like to me on this one, it looks like we're, we're, we're multiplying by three every single time. So uh, I know it is going to be geometric. And so because it is geometric, um, and I want to write an explicit formula for the sequence, I remember in your notes, A1 is equal to A1 times R to the N minus 1. 1 to the N minus 1. So in order to do that, we need to find out what our A1 is. Well, it looks like our A1 is equal to negative 7, and it looks like our R value, our common ratio, uh, is timesing by just three, not negative three, because these are all already negative, but just three. So my uh, formula would go something like a n equals negative negative seven times your common ratio. Oops, sorry, three, not r. Three um, to the n minus one. Okay. So a n equals negative seven times three to the n minus one. And now we're gonna use that formula to find the 10th the tenth term of this geometric sequence. So I'm gonna a 10 is equal to negative seven times three to the 10 minus one. We'll go ahead and plug it on a calculator real quick. And I'm getting this insanely big number which makes sense because these numbers are already starting to get pretty big of negative one, three, seven, seven, eight, one. So that would be the 10th term in this geometric sequence. Cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the new stuff today, um, which is arithmetic series. And you're probably thinking, well, what the heck is a series? A series is just the sum of an arithmetic sequence. All right. So you're going to hear arithmetic sequence, arithmetic series, geometric sequence, geometric series, and all those different words are probably getting lost in your head. Just know that a sequence is just a set of ordered numbers. In a series, you are just adding all of those numbers together. Uh, if you see the word sum here, that means addition and mathematics. So we're going to hit you with a couple formulas here. You're definitely going to want to write down this formula right here. Um, this is extremely important. So if you need to pause the video, go for it, but I'm gonna explain what this means. This first term, all that means is the sum of n amount of terms. Talking about how many terms we're gonna find the sum of in general. n is the number of terms. Uh, A1 we know is our, the value of our first term, but this is the, the slightly different part. A n normally we know is like the value of the nth term. In this particular formula, A n stands for the value of the last term. So What's important here is that you need to know that you can only use this formula when you know the last term. If you do not know the last term, you cannot use this formula. If you do know the last term, yeah, you can go ahead and use this formula. This is the other formula that you will need to know. Definitely write this down. It's a little bit more complex, but we use this formula when we do not know the last term. Instead, we use this formula when we know the common difference. If I know the common difference, I can plug in everything into here and be just fine. So again, Sn, the sum of the first n amount of terms, n is the number of terms, A1 is still just your first term, D is your common difference, we know that from before, and n again is just the number of terms. So when you're doing these problems, you got to ask yourself first, do I know my last term? If yes, go ahead and use that first formula. If no, then go ahead and use this formula. And then the rest is just plugging in. All right, so let's get to an example. Example number one, find S5 of the sequence. Basically it's saying find the sum of the first five terms of the sequence. Now, 
this uh this one's pretty easy you could probably do it in your head we're going to use the formula just in case so i remember because i wrote this down if i know the last term which i do because i'm just finding the sum of the first five right one two three four five this is the fifth term i know the last term so since i know that i can go ahead and use the formula a or sorry not that one um sn equals n over two times a1 plus a n okay so we're finding the sum of the first five terms that means there's five terms that we're adding together so i'm going to plug that in for n my first term is negative two and my last term is six once we have that we can just go ahead and plug this into a calculator i'm just going to do it by hand because i like to party um so five over two times negative two plus six is four so the sum of the first five terms would be five over two times four, which would be just 10. That's all there is to it. Let's move on to a more difficult question. Something like this. Find S12 of the series. Basically, we want to find the sum of the first 12 terms. Now, notice you only have four terms here. If you want to, you could extend this out all the way to the 12th term and use that original formula, but uh, that's not always going to work because I could ask you, if I wanted to be a jerk, I could ask you, find S50, find the sum of the first 50 terms. And I'm not about to have y'all write out 50 terms here. That's a waste of time. Okay. So what we're going to use is we're going to use that other formula because I don't know the last term, but I can, pr I'm pretty sure I can figure out the common difference. So our formula here is, Oops, uh, let's erase that. Let's go, uh, there we go. Sn equals, or let's switch that. Let's go S12 equals 12, right? Actually, let's erase that again. Let's start with my original formula. Sn equals N over two times two, A1 plus D times N minus one. That is the original formula. I should always have that written down first, my apologies. Now we're going to go ahead and plug in. So S of 12 is equal to 12 over 2, right? I'm plugging 12 in for N times 2 times my first term. Looks like my first term is negative 3 plus my common difference. Looks like we're adding 3 every single time. So <clears throat> my common difference is 3. So I'm going to put a 3 there times N we said was 12 minus one. At that point, you could plug this whole thing into your calculator. It would be a lot, but we did practice some of that order of operations using your calculator. So if you'd like to go that, go ahead and do that, go for it. I'm going to do it by hand because again, math is fun. So 12 divided by two is six. Um, two times negative three is negative six plus uh, 12 times or 12 minus one is 11. 11 times 3 is 33. So I got it down to there. So the sum of my first 12 would be 6 times negative 6 plus 33 is 27. And so 6 times 27 would be 162. So what that means is the sum of the first 12 terms of this sequence is equal to 162. That's all we got for arithmetic series. Remember, a series is just the sum of a sequence. Just using, basically all we're doing is we're using those two formulas. The main idea is you gotta know, do I have a last term? Yes, use the first formula. If I don't have a last term, I'm gonna have to use the second formula and I'm gonna have to find the common difference in A1 and plug all that stuff in. That's pretty much all there is to this lesson. Again, like I say at every video, if you have any questions, Please make sure you're asking your teachers. We will help you out. Other than that, have a great rest of your day. Taryn out.